Welcome everybody to another episode of Takedown Tuesdays, mobile marketing campaigns in the wild. I am your host, Greg Hickman from mobilemixed.com. And today, my friends, I'm not taking down a specific business. I am just taking down the concept of QR codes. And there's a very, very good reason for this. Uh, if you follow the podcast on Mobile Mixed, um, you would know that I'm not the biggest fan of QR codes. Um, and you know, as a part of Takedown Tuesday, I try to, you know, share campaigns that I see out in the wild every day, every, every single day to, to teach you guys some things and to show you what's working and show you what's not. And I happened to see one out there recently and I wanted to share this experience. But first, what is Takedown Tuesday? Weekly video show reviewing one business that is using the mobile marketing correctly or, or just using mobile marketing correctly is a different story. Uh, we'll review what they're doing right, what they could be doing better. We'll reveal some key takeaways that you can apply in your own business. And these reviews are covering big brands, small businesses, many of which are coming from my own experience um, of interacting with a business on my mobile phone or ones you guys submit to be reviewed. And we're focusing only on one aspect of what's going on. Uh, we're not doing the whole strategy. And if you guys want to submit a takedown so that I can review it, uh, please send an email with screenshots to takedown at mobilemixed.com and provide a brief description of your experience. So the backstory, I was driving home from the gym. I was at a red light and saw a truck next to me that had a QR code on the back. I knew I had to scan it before we all started moving. So I chose to take a picture quickly instead uh, with the hopes of putting on my computer screen and then scanning the QR code later so that I could present this takedown to you. Um, the car started moving. I kept trying and literally almost crashed my car. A handful of people <laughs> were, um, were yelling at me. I literally almost died. So, um, you know, usually this is where I talk about what could people be doing right. Um, well, not many people use them right. So um, I have a little, if you're watching the video, um, or sorry, if you're listening just to the audio of this, uh, there's a QR code in the video that I would like you to pause and scan it. Um, you'll get a nice little video from a guy by the name of Scott Stratton, who uh, talks a lot about uh, QR codes, actually wrote a book about it. Um, and he actually shares exactly how I feel about QR codes. So there's almost never anything right about QR codes, and that's why I chose to, to make this a takedown. I literally almost died. Mind you, it was for the education of the audience here, so it would have been semi-worth semi it, I guess. Um, but that QR code has probably hurt someone before, and uh, I really hope that, you know, that's just, you know, so that that person's safe and they're alive. And uh, because I know that I literally almost got into like a seven car car accident trying to scan this for you guys. So um, I really just want you to read this book called QR Codes Kill Kittens uh, by Scott Stratton. Um, it, 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 the subtitle of the book is How to Alienate Customers, Dishearten Employees, and Drive Your Business into the Ground. And um, I truly do really kind of feel the same way that Scott does about this book. Um, so I highly recommend you you read it. And if not, check out one of the sites that talks about um, how bad people use QR codes so that you can not do what these people are doing. One of which is called WTF QR codes. That's what the F QR codes dot com. And then QR code fails dot WordPress dot com. Two websites that show you plenty of ways to not use QR codes. And if you use any of these QR code, if you use a QR code, just don't do what some of these other people are doing. Um, if you want a good example uh, of, of how people can use QR codes, uh, check out um, a case study, and I'll put the link in the show notes of this, by Tesco. It's a global supermarket giant, um, and they, you know, in Korea, and um, this is kind of a brief synopsis of their campaign, which was brilliant, and it was using QR codes. Global supermarket giant Tesco solved the problem of enticing hardworking, time-strapped Koreans into its stores by bringing the shopping experience to them with virtual stores based on, based in subways and metro stations. So, if you're looking at the, if you're listening to the audio, there's actually uh, a, a visual here uh, in the video where they essentially pasted. Um, fake shelves of inside the grocery store inside the metro station um, with QR codes underneath specific products. And 
Uh, shoppers were encouraged to browse these lifelike images of the supermarket shelves with their smartphones and scan the QR codes on products to add them to the shopping cart within their app, all whilst waiting for their metro, st- metro train. Uh, these purchases would then be delivered to them at home with no need to carry any heavy bags. So that goes and solves a problem. And I looked into this case study and it was people that, you know, in Korea, very hardworking people, they don't really have time to go to the grocery store. So Tesco went and brought the grocery store to them and then hand delivered the groceries to their house. That's using QR codes to solve an actual problem. I mean, the, the QR code is very much a small piece of that. But through the Tesco app, you scan the QR code, add the product to the cart, and boom, then you have it delivered to your house. So if you're going to go use a QR code, look to this example. And if your QR code isn't as good as this scenario, then please just don't do it is kind of where I'm going with this. Um, so some key takeaways. Don't put QR codes on moving objects. They might actually hurt or kill somebody. Make the reward of scanning one million times more valuable than the effort it takes to scan them. Learn how people don't use them well by using these tools online, these links online that I just gave you. And Use it when it can actually solve a problem, a real problem. And there is not a problem called get me to your website. That's not a real problem. They can enter your URL. So that's the key takeaway. When you can use it to actually solve a problem and, you know, not make up this fake problem of just scan this and take me to the website. Lastly, if you have not checked out the SMS marketing handbook, it is my step-by-step guide to getting started using SMS text message marketing in your business to generate leads and sales. Check it out at smsmarketinghandbook.com today. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little takedown uh, and we'll catch you on the podcast this Thursday. Thanks.